G'day. Welcome to Ollie 35mm user-based quasi-empirical cheap and cheerful videos on Olympus 35mm cameras. Today I would like to introduce you to what I consider the Humvee of cameras, or at least compact cameras. I don't know, it's, it's just got that military look about it. Um, and just very quickly to let you know, it's uh, even strengthened by the fact that when you look in the viewfinder, there's a little red crosshairs in the middle. This drives you crazy when you're trying to take photographs. But anyway, that's just, just my thoughts on it. It's um, a, quite a fun camera. It's the um, uh, Acura View Zoom 120, or that's the American um, designation of it. It's a Super Zoom 120SF uh, internationally. This is an American version, as you can see. Um, quite a nice camera to use, uh, quite a nice sharp, uh, contrasty 38 to 120 uh, f 3.7 to 10.8 uh, lens, so not um, thrilling on the on the light stakes, but uh, all right, especially considering that you have a um, a built-in flash here as well. The lens, uh, unfortunately, only has a close focus distance of about uh, two and a half feet, or about you know seven seven hundred mil or so, somewhere around there. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame, but with that 120, you can sort of zoom in uh, as well, so that actually helps. Uh, the flash has the standard flash functions that you would uh, expect around about um, uh, for this uh, type of camera. Uh, it has uh, flash off, uh, flash auto, flash uh, uh, red, red eye, uh, night scene mode, and also night scene mode uh, with red eye. Um, and those two night scene modes are to help you with the ambient light, so you get a bit of ambient light in there as well. The flash doesn't overpower everything else. Uh, the ISO range is from 50 to 3200. It's DX coded, as you would expect from something uh, around this uh, this age. Uh, it has uh, some nice user features on it. It has a diopter adjustment, uh, which is really handy for those of us that wear glasses. It has a nice big viewfinder too, and you can actually um, use it reasonably comfortably with glasses. Now, inside the viewfinder, you have uh, that horrible red crosshair that I was telling you about, although it's good for parties, I suppose. Uh, you also have focus indication, um, you have parallax correction, and you have um, shutter actuation um, uh, notice, I suppose. Uh, and all of these are somehow, and I'm not too sure how it works, uh, but uh, a little uh, LED type light, so they actually uh, lit up uh, in the viewfinder. Doesn't do a real lot for me, I must admit, but, you know, it's it's there and it's quite funky and it's quite different uh, if you wanted a different camera to, um, to, to wear all your friends with. Uh, wide to tele controls are actually sitting on the front, so they're quite easy to use. It it, it does make it a um, uh, a two-handed camera, of course. It's a bit hard to, to take it with one hand and then still use the zoom functions. Um, quite easy to load. I'll just open up the back here. Uh, it's actually quite easy to load. I've had no problems at all uh, with the films that I've either tested or used. It takes a uh, if I can find out where the heck the battery goes. I've forgotten now on this. Um, it is here somewhere. Uh, it's on the back. There you go. It takes a uh, CR123 battery um, in the uh, in the back, and uh, they're quite easy to, to pick up at a uh, supermarket, you know, for, or a camera shop, you know, for roughly around about ten dollars. Uh, On-off button on the top closes up uh, with a uh, little lens protector. This one actually came with a case uh, and a strap, so that was quite nice. Uh, picture quality, I think I said before, uh, it's quite sharp, it's quite contrasty. We've we've come to be used to that from, from Olympus stuff. It's not outstanding compared to some other uh, compact cameras, especially in the in the in the Mu series. Uh, but it uh, it's it's a really interesting camera to have in your collection, just simply by the shape um, and some of those funky little features like the uh, the LED lights. I wouldn't spend too much on them. Um, Twenty to forty dollars maximum would be my thought, um, but uh, you know it all depends on how much you want uh, something that's a little bit different. I don't think I can really tell you much else. Um, I think I told you that it, it's it's quite comfortable to use, although it is a two-handed unit. Um, it's not particularly uh, heavy. It's um, I'm guessing it's about. 300 grams somewhere thereabouts i think it said 10.4 ounces uh whatever that happens to be in uh, in metric I, I can't quite remember but probably about 300 grams 
Um, and uh, it's not the smallest camera around, but it's also not too big either. I've got quite small hands. So that's about all I can tell you on this one. Um, have a look on the Flickr uh, page uh, for the Oli 35mm and uh, see what you think and um, make up your own mind. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.